SiriusXM Marine is excited to introduce compatibility with the latest Simrad NSX product line. With the latest software update from Simrad installed, all Simrad NSX multifunction displays can now utilize all SiriusXM Marine services. In this video, we will be showing how to access SiriusXM Marine weather information on the new Simrad NSX Ultrawide MFD. Starting from the chart screen, to subscribe to SiriusXM, you will first need to locate the SiriusXM radio ID number. This is done by going to the home screen, then selecting settings from the upper left. From the settings menu on the left, select boat network, then devices from the list on the right. If the WM4 receiver is connected, Sirius XM will be displayed. From the drop down, select show details. Here you will find pertinent information, including the plan subscribed to, radio ID number, and signal strength. The radio ID is the number Sirius XM requires to set up a subscription on the receiver. Once a subscription has been established, the data layers can be displayed on the chart page. To show Sirius XM layers, tap anywhere on the chart. The menu icon will appear in the upper right hand corner of the screen. Tap the icon to open the chart settings menu. Located in this menu will be Sirius XM weather and Sirius XM fish mapping selections. Checking the box to the left will turn pre-selected data layers off and on. From this page, you can quickly toggle between weather and fish mapping layers. You cannot view both weather and fish mapping at the same time. To select the Sirius XM weather layers you would like shown, tap the right arrow from the next column that appears, ensure show on chart is selected. From this page, you can access weather layers, view text weather reports, such as marine weather bulletins, animate weather to show a storm movement and view a forecast model of sea conditions going forward. Show a legend on screen to identify weather details. Data status, will identify the times when the data was updated and how many minutes ago it was received on board. To choose the weather layers you would like displayed, select the weather selection right arrow. Here you can select which data layers to display. Any combination of up to five layers can be shown in combination. If five are selected, a prompt to deselect all layers will appear. You can deselect all or deselect layers individually. Precipitation, which shows rain intensity. Lightning shows strikes that have occurred within the last 20 minutes. If there is a number next to the symbol, you can zoom in because this indicates there are multiple strikes in that area. Recent strikes are bright yellow. They then turn to dark gray and fade to light gray as they age. Storm cell attributes display speed, direction, and other information about individual cells within a storm system. If you tap on the symbol, it will bring up a box at the bottom, and then you can see even more detail about that storm cell. Sea surface temperature, shown as a color or as a numeric value on screen. You can also customize the temperature range to show just a limited temperature range. Wind. This layer shows wind speed and direction in traditional wind barb or as arrows. Wave. Displays height, period, and direction. Height can be shown as a color or text. Direction is shown as an arrow, and period is shown in seconds. The color for wave height can also be adjusted to better show areas to avoid based on personal preference. These three layers count as one and can be shown in combination. Marine observations and buoys show stations that have sensors showing sea and weather conditions at various locations in US waters. 
When a station symbol is selected, more details can be accessed to all the information available. Fronts and barometric pressure. Via the submenu provides front locations, pressure isobars, and pressure centers. These three layers can also be shown in combination. Storm tracks provides the predicted path of tropical storms. Cloud tops displays various shades of gray indicating where clouds are present and the height of their tops. This concludes the overview of the SiriusXM weather available on the NSXM platform. If you are interested in accessing SiriusXM fish mapping information, please look for the next video in this series. If you have any questions or need more detailed information on a particular item, please direct them to marine.support at SiriusXM.com. Thank you.